My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, specifically the Darkest Rhapsody Estate thereof. Uh, we've got another one of these midliner parties where we're trying to sort out the awkwardness in the mid stages with our levels. Uh, I definitely want to get Bel Air up into the higher levels. I also want to get Pears up into the higher levels. I'm going to be running them in the Warrens here against the possibility of a thing from the stars roaming here as well as the Swine King. Now, the Swine King I'm super prepared for. With Vavasaur having the ability to remove marks from other targets as well as mark themselves, as long as Vavasaur is one of the original targets or only one target is marked, then I can negate a lot of the damage by having it trigger on Vavasaur, and then Vavasaur can use Exsanguinate to heal themselves back up. Uh, I'll also probably turn on Reclaim instead of Reign of Sorrows. So I'll have Punish, Exsanguinate, in the final fight, I'll probably have Suffer. Actually, before that, I'll probably have Reclaim. Yeah, that seems about right. So that I can use Vavasaur as my secondary healer. Unfortunately, Vavasaur does have the Punishment Hood on them. What's the Bleed Chance? Bleed Chance is 130. In this area, things will have a maximum of like 40% resist. So if I'm willing to leave a 10% chance that I get, that I miss my bleed every single time I roll it, I can change that trinket from a Punishment Hood. I'd really like to be able to do that because the Punishment Hood has the negative of negative 20% uh, to healing skills, which is not epic. So I'm thinking we could even throw the Ancestor Scroll on you and then use you also for Endure. So before the final combat, like this would be your setup. That actually seems like a really good idea. It'll help us get some stress recovery and some reliable healing in this build that has neither. Uh, then we've got Ben now, who's the same as always. Ben now does have the fit, so they have negative 5 accuracy and negative 5% to crit. But I've given them the Hunter's Talon to give them plus 10 accuracy and plus 6% to crit. So I've weighed out those and given them also 5 accuracy on top. And the Ancestor's Candle to just give them a little bit extra speed, damage, dodge, you know, the kind of standard assortments. Before the final fight, they are going to be using This Is How We Do It, which is also going to help meter out the negative of the fit, so they're instead just going to have the positive, the speed. And then they're also going to be using Plan Takedown, because the Swine King, whilst it is size 3, this Plan Takedown ability should read 25% damage versus anything that is larger than size 1, or size 2 and larger, because that's actually how it functionally works in the code. Uh, the shield breaker I'm primarily taking on the mission because I want to do the nightmare. And... If I am doing the nightmare, I need you to have the ability to expose someone, right? Because no one else here can. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, let's uh, sort out our party stuff. And then we've also got a lot of people that we need to lock away as well. So we'll upgrade, reclaim. Three points for three rounds with the 25% increase means that it's going to be four points for three rounds, 12 points on a target for 12 points of damage on myself. But the thing is the 12 points of damage on myself, number one is beneficial because Vavasaur wants to be on lower HP, they're a flagellant. But secondly, it's also beneficial because they have a very low chance to bleed themselves here. They've got 105% resist and... The bleed on themselves should be 130% base. It doesn't say there, though. Uh, but it should be 130% base, so they only have a 25% chance to actually hit themselves with that. Then Benyao, yep, you've already got your setup. Belair, you've already got your setup. Pears, yeah? Pears, you've got your setup. All right, and everyone's got their best equipment as well. Now, Belair also has a negative in the rabies, which is giving them negative 10 to their accuracy, but plus 15% to their damage. The fact that they have the plus 15% to their damage, I'm trying to capitalize upon. I'm effectively using that to add to the Sun Rings positive of plus 10% damage. And then the plus 5 accuracy cancels out negative 5 accuracy. And then I've got the focus ring on the other side for another plus 10. So I'm really kind of trying to 
make up for the accuracy deficits that she has while providing a little bit of damage and a little bit of crit to stack on top of the effectiveness of the rabies. She also has Warren's Tactician for a plus 15% damage in this area and has plus 10 accuracy and plus 5% crit versus beasts. That's one of the reasons that she's not so negative in this area because she has the extra accu accuracy versus almost all of the enemies that will appear in this area. Uh, precise Striker for plus 5% crit on melee skills is also really good. The Prismatic Stability is going to have no effect, unfortunately. Uh, there are a bunch of people that I need to lock away for treatment. Like, Penel has Perfectionist. Eh, like, I could. I could change it or I could not. Bashar does need to remove Slow Draw. That has to get rid of there. Yeah, there's no two ways about that. That has to happen. Laws, none of those really matter. Mortimer has Shocker, which I would like to remove. Fortier has Lazy Eyes. I kind of want to lock in Natural Swing. Lock out Sickly, I guess. That's so irrelevant a lot of the time. Hmm. Don't care about those. Actually, Clumsy I care about a little. All right. Fine. And then we don't have anyone stressed or stressed enough to worry about locking them away. Okay, cool. We are covered. Time to go to the Warrens. We're very unlikely to be blighting things in this area with Bel Air, so it's it's quite likely that we drop all of her blight abilities. So, like, get exposed. Actually, I think I'll get exposed and Serpent Sway. So... Quickly just get back to Bel Air. Yeah, we've got Exposed. Serpent Sway is a number of blocks as well as a number of speed up. Moves them forward. So how would I move you backwards after that? I could use Impale to move you backwards one space. And then Ben Air is in the third line. The third line is fine for Ben Air. They can still use Collect Bounty. They can still use Finish Him. They can still use Flashbang, which is why they're you know capable of being there. It's just, what else is Belair going to do? Pulling, breaking guard, and that kind of stuff, and armor piercing are all actually really good. It's just the fact that I can't reliably hit the Adder's Kiss, because it's going to be like, everything here will have like 60%, 65 maybe 70% resists. So it's, it's very much chance for that to work. That said... Adder's Kiss isn't bad just for moving me backwards. All right, I think I'll leave those on for the moment. All right. Let's embark. Stop trying to put me on the Cove mission. Dang it. I know what mistake I made. Also, I can use Paeus during this mission to remove a disease from someone else by using leeches. It's going to cost me three light, but could be pretty handy. Okay, provisioning for this area. We'll take all of the food and we'll also take a couple more medicinal herbs than we otherwise might. Um, and that's primarily because you can use the medicinal herbs in this area to get more food and you can use the food to get more HP to offset the fact that we don't have a dedicated healer in that fact. You also need to upgrade into your... Yeah, you need to upgrade into your... I'll take two holy water, three keys... Three bandages and just shy of two stacks of torches. And then immediately realize that I'm going to lose all of those resources as I go back to upgrading Dior one more time. Whoops. Stop. Stop it. It almost made me go to the cove there. Come on. Game. Three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, da, 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 da. all right, we covered. Let's go.
So we know that the final fight is all the way over here. I think I want to probably go to it as quickly as possible. Because after the final fight, we're basically just going to be hunting the thing from the stars. Mm-hmm. See, I really want to roll for the damage because we are better against humans. Ugh, low roll the damage. I deserve that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably split the damage on that front. And then basically, who do I want to go down this turn? You don't die in two turns. You do die in two turns, so... Oh, great. That's not how I wanted that one to go. Slice and dice. Dodged. Nice. Flank of fire. Dodged. Nice. I mean, this one's already dead. So there's no benefit. Damn it, it's already dead. There's no benefit to doing anything to it. Unless I crit. So I should probably leave it to the person who's most likely to crit. All right, there we go. Just wait in for this Fusilier. Got him. Easy 12 stress removal there. Oh, man. Oh, I'm actually letting them get another shot off. It will make very little difference, but it will make some. There we go. Add the restoration on. Hey, and the self lead. Why not? So I'm noticing that she can get to the front of the line, but then can't really get back. We do have the impale and other things, though. Pump the torch into the room. Okay, beastie time. One down. Two down. I didn't really want an early action there, friends. Wow, she has the worst blight resist as well, I think. Good crit. The worst or the best blight resist? It's going to be one or the other and nothing in between. You have 60%. You actually have the worst. Damn. That heals for six. Because it also prevents the continuation of that bleed. I'm fine with the Vavasaur going on to low HP. Vavasaur being the flagellant, rather. Because it just activates their stronger abilities. Mm -hmm. I do need slightly more portraits and slightly more boss. I think I probably issue money in favor of portraits right now. It's probably the correct loot prioritization for me. Throw away the anti venom, not useful in this area. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Mm. I don't like that they're both unexposable in the background. Come on, knock them all the way back. Yeah. Huh, you got crit healed with that. I didn't even know that was possible. All right, so both of the, ugh, my name. Ah, stop with the crits. 
At least the second one only damaged the back line. But yeah, both of the cutthroats are dead. It's just unfortunately we don't really have that much we can do other than that. We're getting kind of unlucky constantly needing the stealth revelation here. I think at least. Hey, nice. Let's roll that restoration. Resists the bleed on itself. Ouch. And now it's time to brutally murder them. Okay. I actually may go with a stun this round. No, never mind. We have none. That's going to make going with a stun very difficult. Okay. This is for purification with holy water. Got a thorough search now. Yep. Still going to prioritize loot now. That is to say, heirlooms. This is in particular so that I can start trying to pick up new districts. My bank isn't yet at the point where I never need money again, but it's not that far. Surprising the first round's nice. Good 17. I... Probably double stun the back line here. It's just super important they don't move. All right. So they've got eight and nine as their speed. I have 10. So it's hopefully I act first on the Plague Doctor. We'll see though. But now don't get stunned. Nice. Damn it. No disease. No disease. All right. One down. Damn it. Died too early. That's unfortunate. Now, not going to get the swine goro with the same action. In particular, that one. Mm-hmm. Have I leveled up Redeem on you? I haven't. Okay. Probably could have done that. Hook where it hurts. Yeah, we don't lock down the enemy team and kill them fast enough to actually do this kind of strat right now. That's okay, though. We're not too far from it. Okay. Damn it, I need to roll another restoration. Okay, I'll swap the positions there. This is exactly what I wanted. Now I can exsanguinate for the kill. And we've got all of the best healing out of that fight that I could have gotten. Probably time to holy water so I can start a stack of rubies. And pop a single torch so I can start another stack of gold. Of uh, portraits. Mm-hmm. I probably also should have just brought some bandages, but Ugh. that's a mistake I made so long ago that it's not a problem anymore. Start another stack of portraits. Okay. Everything from 
Orange, red, ah, uh, trapped, damn it. There's our extra supplies, immediately all just goes into the Plague Doctor. Good, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Gosh, it looks like there's so little combat in this after we clear out those rooms. Like, it's so tempting to just come back and do it all in low light later. In fact, I don't even necessarily think that's incorrect. Pump the torch and... Okay, this could remove a negative behavior, or it could give us plus 50 stress, so... Gotta be careful. Okay, as long as that blights both of them. Okay, cool. Swine spawn is now dead. Excellent. If we hit the other one with a impale, it looks like it now too is dead. All right. That's really good for target control right there. Nice. Good dodge. I wonder why they're so obsessed with trying to hit Ben Air, who actually has probably the highest dodge in my party right now. Yeah, their blight resist is 80%. My Blight chance is 130, 150. Wow. They actually have a 30% chance to resist, and they haven't been. That's kind of wild. Did that literally just for the possibility of critting. Really glad it did. Crit hurts. Sure. I also kind of want to control the stress on the other character. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna roll it again. I just need one more action before the Swine Gora. And we actually have a pretty fast Swine Bearer there. Swine Bearer, sorry, Shield Bearer. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna start a new stack of crests. Call me mad, but I actually think this is going to be pretty important to do. Okay. Now, as for dealing with the rest of this, who has the best stress resist? Virtue chance on a flagellant. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good one. No increased stress resist. You have increased stress heal. I'm going to have Vavasaur do it. Yeah, because if they get stressed out, at the very least... Oh my god, they got really stressed out. Uh, if they do get stressed out, at the very least, they will become more powerful. Not being able to control their actions in the final fight? Now that's going to be harsh, but we'll try. Oh, what? Necromania? Yeah, Necromania would have done you. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. I did think Necromania was going to trigger in this area, but I thought that was about to trigger because it was going to call it... Um, cool, you had the negative 50 stress. Uh, I thought that was going to... Brain? Call it Cedomania, which was going to be the worst. All right. Firewood will rest. <clears throat> <clears throat> the fangs, they reel nearer than ever, so that means that we do need to get a bypass up. Impale will actually allow me to target all of them at the same time after I reveal only one. That's probably a good idea. You can't swap these? What? We're not in a battle. Let me swap your... Really? Well, now we lose. Because everything is going to be stealthed. We're not going to have the ability to target any of it. We're just going to lose that combat. <sighs> that 
That's so frustrating. Uh. We're not going to have the ability to re remove stealth on any of them. So I, I have to let them attack a bunch of times before I can do anything. I This sucks. You should be able to untag and tag skills while you're resting. There's no reason not to be able to do that. You can do it at every other time in the dungeon unless you're fighting. And I could swear I've done stuff like this before. Well. Let's give you protection. Then give you this is how we do it. And... Oh god, I could remove it as this. Extra speed on Vavasaur. Yeah, that's also healing on you right now, so let's do that. I hate this. Yeah, it's the same combat as well, so everyone's already stealthed. Ugh. Just gonna have to swap them. Mm-hmm. Thank you for resisting. Please resist. Nice. I mean, she'll get stressed out if I just pass the turn. Not bad. It's exactly who I didn't want you to be able to crit. You need to take her stress away. Otherwise, she is definitely going to stress out before we have enough time. Okay, one of them is now targetable. We actually managed to hit that blight. Wow, that was like a 50% chance. We got it, though. And this click. Gosh, these dodges. These dodges are huge. Now everything is uncovered. It's time to go for the kills. Double stun the back line here. Yep. This Pliskin at the front only gets to act once. Eight, not bad. Don't crit. Cool. I don't like this. It's fine. One Pliskin down. Well, two Pliskin down, actually. I'm probably going to have to use another stress recovery action here. There's actually nothing else I could have even dutifully done there. Um, start. Oh, we crit on both of them. Unfortunately, we only got one Blight. That does make sense. Again, their resist does 100%. They are snakes. Literally. Okay. Let me act before the Pliskin. Yeah. Got him. All right. We're actually going to get through this. I mean, not in great shape, but we'll get through it. Remove some more stress from you. Actually, you get completely de-stressed as soon as we finish this mission, don't you? Yeah, I think I just made a huge mistake by just giving myself stress that I didn't need. We got a cleansing crystal as well as a fanged spear tip for plus 35% damage versus mark, but negative 10% damage overall. That's really bad. Like, exquisitely poor. Uh... There anything we want to do here in particular? Not really. Do you need to make space? I could just eat a bunch of food. 
I'm gonna eat a bunch of food. Because if I have to leave the dungeon early just so that I can... If I have to leave the dungeon early, it's fine. As long as I've already killed the boss. It is extremely important that we hit uh, hit this stun here. Get him. Got him! Alright, we're cool. That bought us a whole extra round of hits on this. Mm -hmm. 11 to 22 rolls the 11. Like, come on. My dude. How weak is that? Yeah. Almost dead to your next uh, trigger. Let's throw a reclaim out there. Definitely stun one of the highwaymen. Yep. Pretty, pretty good finish there. And that's just going to be a puzzling trap as a hedron for us. Which I now just have to find the space to take. I probably instead of a ruby? No, probably instead of the torches now. I keep forgetting that this dungeon in particular needs far fewer torches than most. Okay, in the final combat, your abilities have to swap to this, 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 and suffer. Those stay the same. Mm. Those stay the same, those stay the same. All right. Let's go in. Just don't attack Wilbur. Oh, I wanted that one to have an action. She does have protection right now. I could start the fight with an exsanguinate. Ooh. Oh, it crit as well. That's now 40 damage on that bleed. That's pretty insane. A nice 30 right there. Obliterate body does 15. Could be worse. Bit of squeal. That probably shouldn't hit nor stun. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, definitely time to try and blight you up. Because we can do that. And these two. Okay. Oh, another crit. Uh, I will take the mark off of you and increase it on myself as well as increase my own... Uh, did that not increase your protection? Huh? What? Suffer no longer increases your own protection? Oh. Oh, no. Did it never do that and I'm just really, really bad at the game? Uh, what? It swung at a target that didn't have a mark on it. That's not how that's supposed to go. If there's a target that has a mark, it's supposed to swing at that target. Now, definitely add his kiss, right? Yep. Crits for 34. Oh my gosh. It's just too easy. Take that mark off of you. Gosh, you're not too far from dead from your blights and bleeds. Why do you keep obliterating body on the wrong target? What a wild time. 
All right, the Swine King is now dead as soon as they try and act. So... That said, I still don't want to trigger their reaction hit. Self-heal there. Nice. Seven. Yeah, gotta get the bleed because otherwise you might get the whole party stunned here. And that could prolong the fight much longer than we need it to be. Only managed to heal one of us, but also the only one that was about to start party healing. Damn. Definitely need to take the blueprint home. Definitely need to take the fang spear tip home as well. All right. There goes the ruby. <clears throat> And let's continue the dungeon. We don't have to leave yet. Ugh. There's another trap there, then an upgoing curio. Thank you for actually disarming this one. That'd be a holy water interactable, unfortunately. We could totally leave and it would be like totally okay. All right. Damn it. What I'm looking for is still the thing from the stars. Just crit it out of existence. That's lovely. Please stun. Didn't. That's not good. Please stun. And did. Good, 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 good. Just short of being able to kill the Corpse Eater, unfortunately. Oh. And it's going for a munch and a crunch. Let's just take that out for the moment. And start blighting this target up. Crit's not a bad way to start that. I'd love to start bleeding it, but I also need to basically, like, reclaim for two turns here. If I can. Rend. Sure. Woo. And another reclaim there. It bled as well. Ooh. That could actually end up being a problem. Hopefully we get back to the turn of the Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor should be next. Beautiful. And then I'll prevent that 24 damage bleed. So I just healed for 26. Unfortunately, it does let another attack get off. I thought the enemy was actually already dead. Which is why I attacked a corpse when I did. Nothing useful. Fair enough. There's the final scout. We found nothing. Okay, so we know that the thing from the stars is no longer available. And I now know that I no longer need shovels, no longer need keys, probably don't need torches. Oh, and here's the battle buff. Right when we needed it. Moving forwards. Yeah, that's perfect. Because now I can stun the back two and hit the target that was stealthed. As well as now I can hit the swine spawn with the flagellant. Mm-hmm. 
Excellent. What are my chances to double stun the back line? 70% per? Yeah, I'm rolling that. Eh. Got one of them. Not bad. A lot better than I expected to be going. Don't disease. Uh, the ague. That's really unfortunate. That's actually really bad, isn't it? Yeah, negative 3 speed, negative 10% damage, negative 10% max HP. That's one of those that you kind of just instantly remove from your character. Really? Swine Reaver went before my Vavasaur. That's unfortunate. My Flagellant. This is our last combat in the entire dungeon. Now, we definitely could have gotten more loot out of this dungeon by prioritizing it better. I more than agree with that. Oh my god. Bele also has a second disease. Thankfully, they're kind of... They're focusing the diseases on targets that already have diseases, which is actually really, really helpful for me. Um, just let me kill this one. It's more. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. No disease. Too much stress already. <sighs> Get him. Yeah, that works. This could give someone a perk. You probably are desperately in need of perks. Damn. There's your extra accuracy damage and crit, which is entirely unnecessary for the character that you are. That's books. I don't care for them. Now we'll go down and check this curio. I probably should have done it in the opposite order so there was less backtracking. Turn the light out, loot that for nothing, and we outie. That was a really simple mission. I, I did want it to get desperately complicated. We brought back 14 portraits. That's actually quite high, including the four portraits that we get from the Swine King. That makes 18. We did get everyone except for Paeus into the fifth level tier. Beautiful. Scurvy. Got a lot of diseases on a lot of people to remove here. Flagellant will only flagellate. Don't really care about that. Unfortunately, we lost Precise Striker by picking up Warren Scrounger there. That's actually kind of annoying. Precise Striker is way more helpful for us. Yeah, we've got more money now. Isn't that handy? Despite the fact that we didn't really bring any money home. Um, now, the primary reason that we picked up the portraits there is so that we can get the final level of the training regimen. But also, we have a lot of these blueprints now. So every time we bring home just like a whole stack of heirlooms, we're closer to being able to pick up another one of these. It's an arbitrary one. Um, has the yellow hand for plus 4% crit as well as plus 5% scouting chance on every bounty hunter, grave robber, and highwayman. It's pretty good. Altar of the Light in particular is insane. Plus 10% on healing skills by base across the Crusader Vessel and Flagellant, as well as the Stun Resist is not bad either. Training Ring is also insane. Athenium, I mean, it's okay. The Knowledge Curio's healing 15 stress is probably the most okay part about that. Performance Hall, yeah. I mean, the Jess that has to stress heal themselves less, they act a lot earlier so they can more reliably be used for that kind of stalling game. That's cool. Outside is Bonfire, I don't really care about though. So yeah, after we get the next 100 portraits, we no longer need portraits at all, ever. And then we can start using any portraits that we do take home, had we, uh, if we do any take any home, to trade for other types of heirlooms at a loss, but to trade for them so that we can get uh, the rest of the districts up. All right, anyone in the stagecoach? Blood. 
Hippocratic. That's Hippocratic Eldritch Hater on an Occultist. That's actually like really good. I'm gonna have to think in between episodes if there is anyone that I can free up so that I would be able to take that. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.